In this video, I will show how to track affiliate link clicks on your website with Google Analytics 4. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to the Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where I teach people how to work with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. So if you want to stay up to date with GA4, then subscribe to this channel. If you're getting revenue from affiliate marketing and people can click affiliate links on your website, you probably want to know which links are clicked the most or which pages generate the most clicks. Google Analytics cannot track them out of the box. Therefore, some tweaks are needed. In this video, I will show you two options of configuration. One is purely within the interface of GE4 and it does not require any coding. If that does not work, then another option is to use Google Tag Manager. Let's take a look. First, let's start with a setup that does not require any coding or Google Tag Manager. Here I have a demo page with two links. Let's pretend that these links are affiliate links. The first one will open a link of Amazon. So if I click it, it will open some product. And then another one will open a link of example.com. But let's imagine that this is an affiliate link. To get started first, I presume that you already have Google Analytics 4 installed on your website. If you haven't done that yet, then I will post a link in the description of this video where I explain how to do that. It does not matter how GA is installed. It might be added directly in the code. It might be installed with Google Tag Manager. So once you have installed Google Analytics 4, then you have to go to your GA4 property, then admin, data streams, select your web data stream, and then make sure that enhanced measurement is enabled. And you also have outbound clicks enabled right here. Because both of these links do not belong to my own domain. The first one is amazon.com and the other one is example.com. So they are both outbound links or in other words, external links. And Google Analytics 4 is capable of tracking those links automatically with this feature right here. So once you have enhanced measurement and outbound clicks enabled, let's test what do we see in the debug view of Google Analytics 4. To see data in the debug view, you have to install a Chrome extension, which is called GA Debugger. I will post a link to it below the video and you click that link, then you need to click install button somewhere right here. And then when you do that, you will need to enable that extension by clicking on it right here. When it is enabled, you will see on right here. So now when I'm on this demo page, I will refresh it to make sure that my GA debugger is enabled. And then I will click first link and then I will click the second link. Now I can close these tabs and then I can go to Google Analytics 4, configure and debug view. And then I can see two click events that were automatically tracked by GA4. If I click the first one and then check its link URL parameter, I will see this Amazon link. Then if I click on the second one, and then select link URL, I see this URL. So this is already good, but maybe your website has some other outbound links that are not affiliate. So the most convenient way here would be to send some other event name, like affiliate link click or something like that. Then we will know that the click was actually on the affiliate link. Luckily, Google Analytics 4 has a feature that allows you to create events based on other incoming events. And you can do that by going to configure, then events and then click create event then click create here we have to come up with some event name for those affiliate link clicks so for example we can use something like affiliate link click and then we have to tell what kind of conditions do we have to meet in order to track that event and as you saw in the debug view we had an event called click that is why we have to enter event name equals click so now when we have this kind of event tracked by Google Analytics 4, we would also track this event. But as you saw, click event tracks all outbound clicks. And we have to be more specific. We want to track only those links that belong to Amazon or example.com. That is why we have to add another condition and we have to enter link URL exactly like this because that's the parameter that was tracked by Google Analytics 4. And then we have to tell that the link must contain amazon.com. Unfortunately, there is no option to use regular expressions here, at least right now. So I cannot add a condition where I want to track amazon.com or example.com. That is why this particular rule will track only amazon.com link clicks. Click create. Then for example.com, we have to create another rule. 
click create, enter the same event name, and then enter the following conditions. Event name is click and link URL must contain example.com. So this kind of technique works if all your affiliate link clicks are actually outbound links. Now let's test if this is working properly. After you create these rules, you will need to wait for maybe a minute or so, and then we will check what is happening on the website. By the way, keep in mind that you can create up to 50 rules like these ones in your property. So if you have a lot of unique domain names of your affiliate link clicks, then this method is not what you should use, but instead you should choose using Google Tag Manager. And later in this video, I will explain what do I mean. So as I've said, after waiting for a minute or so, these rules should go live. And then let's go back to our demo website. And then I will click the first link, the second link, I will close these tabs. And then I will go to Google Analytics, configure debug view. And then let's check what kind of events do we see, we will see four events in total. If you still see just click events, then wait for five more minutes, refresh the page where you're testing this, this will help. Anyway, we have four events right here. And this is fine. Our outbound link click tracking still works. So we have click and click, but also our new events are working as well. We have affiliate link click here and here. If I click it, it still has the link URL parameter. And this is the link that was clicked. The same would apply here if I clicked on the second link. In the last part of this video, I will show you how to build a sample report. But when it comes to the setup, this is what you can do. If this method for some reason doesn't work for you, then another one is to use Google Tag Manager. So let's take a look at that. But before we do that, first, let me delete those two rules so that I would not mess with the setup in Google Tag Manager. So delete the first one and then delete the second one. Here I am in my Google Tag Manager container. This container is installed on the demo website. If you have no idea how to install Google Tag Manager, then I have another tutorial. Take a look at the description of this video. Here in the tags section, I already have the GA4 configuration tag. And to get started with the affiliate link click tracking, first you have to go to variables and make sure that click variables are enabled. For us, the most important in this case is click URL right here. If you don't have click variables right here, you should go to configure and then click check boxes next to all click variables right here. Then we need to go to triggers and create a link click trigger that will be tracking these particular links right here. So click new trigger configuration, and then select just links. Now let's specify this trigger because we don't want to track all link clicks. We want to track just affiliate link clicks and we can click right here on some link clicks and then select click URL. This is a bit similar to what we did in Google Analytics 4, but in this case, we can use a thing called regular expressions where we can add multiple conditions or in this case, multiple domains to the same rule. So if click URL matches regex and ignore case, here we enter amazon.com and then we enter pipe, which is a vertical dash in regular expressions, this means or and then enter example.com. This rule will track all link clicks of which URL contains either amazon.com or example.com. Sometimes websites hide their affiliate links behind their own domain. So instead of having, you know, amazon.com, they have something like this, where it's their own domain, then it can be something like affiliate, and then some ID of the link like this. So if all your affiliate links look something like that, then you could have another rule instead of this one, you could just use contains and affiliate. So then all link clicks that contain this particular word with slashes will be considered as an affiliate link. But in our case, things are simpler. So I will enter just amazon.com and pipe example.com. Then I will name this trigger. I will call this link click affiliate link and then click save. The last part is to send that link click information to Google Analytics 4. Go to tags, create a new tag tag configuration and then select GA4 event. Here we have to select our existing GA4 configuration tag. This tag is available if you have installed Google Analytics 4 in your Google Tag Manager container. I will post a link to a tutorial below the video where you can learn how to install GA4 with Google Tag Manager. 
And then here we can enter the name of the event that we want to send to Google Analytics for. So it can be the same affiliate link click. And then in event parameters, we want to send what was the URL that was clicked. Was it amazon.com slash something something or was it something else? So here in the event parameters, we click add row and then we enter exactly like this link URL. Google Analytics 4 will recognize this parameter and it will be available as link URL in the reports of GE4. And then in the value, we should click here to insert a variable of Google Tag Manager and we need to select click URL. This thing will dynamically send the actual value of the link with this parameter to Google Analytics 4. Then scroll down and in the triggering section, click anywhere or on this pencil and then click this trigger that we have just created. Let's name this tag and then click save. Now let's test if this is working properly. Click preview, enter the URL of the page where you want to test this, click connect, and then I will click the first link and the second link. And then I will close these tabs and let's go to Google Tag Assistant first. We will see several link click events on one of them our tag was supposed to fire, but it did not. Let's check why is that? The problem is somewhere with the trigger. So I will click on the trigger and I see that obviously I did not select matches regex ignore case because this is important. Contains will not work with this condition. Click save, then preview to refresh the preview mode. And then I will click the first link and the second link again. Now click this link click and I see that the tag has fired. This did not fire on this, it fired again. And yeah, that's it. I clicked the link two times, so the tag fired here and here. Ignore other events right here because this one is displayed because of a bug right now that is in Google Tag Manager and the other ones are coming from the enhanced measurement of Google Analytics 4, but they do not affect how your tags work in Google Tag Manager because if I click right here, I will see that in total my affiliate link click tag fired twice and that's correct because I clicked two links. Now let's go to Google Analytics configure and debug view. Here I see affiliate link click. So that's good. I click it. I expand the link URL and I see the link that was clicked. So this is another option how you can track affiliate link clicks. You have to choose one of them either by using just Google Analytics 4 or you can use Google Tag Manager. Don't use both at the same time. Otherwise you will get duplicate data. Now the final part of the video is how to see that data in Google Analytics 4. So first of all, you will need to wait for at least 24 hours. I have already tracked these events in the past, so I have already tracked some data, but you will have to wait longer. Now let's go to explorations. So click explore, then click blank. Now let's say that I want to see how many times each affiliate link click was clicked. To do that, we have to select dimensions and we need to import them into this report. So click plus in the dimensions section and then enter event name and select this, then enter link URL and click this. And for now that should be enough. Click import. Then in the metrics section, you can click plus. And for starters, it can be enough just to have event count. Click this checkbox and click import. Now let's double click on event count. It will be added right here in the values section. And then let's click on link URL. And I mean double click so that it would be added right here. But now we see that the first row is empty and also there is a chance that you will see some other events. So the reason why this happens is because right now this report shows all events that were tracked in this property. Not just click, not just affiliate link click. So we have to narrow down and display only affiliate link click events in this report. And we can do that by scrolling down in the tab settings column, click filters, and then click event name. And then we have to select match type, which is exactly matches. And then we have to enter affiliate link click. And here is that suggestion, click this and apply. And now I see the list of all affiliate link clicks that were clicked. And I see how many times was each link clicked. If you want to see the full value of the URL, you will have to hover your mouse and then you will see that. If you want to see which pages of your website generate the most affiliate link clicks, you could create a report like this. Go to dimensions and click plus. Then enter page and you can take a look and choose either page location, which is the full URL or just the page path, which is the part that goes after the domain. 
So let's go with page path, click checkbox and import. And then instead of link URL, I can remove it and add page path. And now I see the list of pages where I had my affiliate link clicks. Obviously right now I have just one page because that's the demo page where I tested this, but on a real website, you will see more links right here. And I mean more pages of your website. If you want, you can even combine this by having page path and link URL at the same time. And then you can see the page and the link that was clicked. When I'm recording this video, unfortunately, it is not possible to resize these columns. So this is a bit unfortunate. Maybe that will be improved in the future. But once you prepare this report, and if you want to work with this in Google Sheets or Excel, you can click right here to export data. And then you can select where do you want to export this, for example, Google Sheets, and then this data will be exported and available there. And that is how you can track affiliate link clicks with Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.